In this video, I'm going to show you how to design this organic walkway in the SketchUp. So let's get started. First step, you need to create this rectangle with 16 feet on each side. Now let's use the push pull tool and push pull it up to 16 feet. Okay, now select this edge. Uh, we need to move this in the y direction about 3.2 feet. And now let's go to the top view and let's create a guideline uh, from here about 3 inch. Now let's use the ask command and click on this intersection point. And now let's create an ax. Let's wait for it when the ax turns to magenta color and back click here. Okay, now uh, let's go to this uh, view and right click on this face and choose align view and let's use the ask command one more time and we must start at the end of the previous curve and one more time uh, let's wait for the curve when it's turned to magenta and well click on it now select this ask and change the segment to 4 and the other ask must have the segment 12 okay it is 12 Now select some of the edges. And now select this edge. And let's go to the edit menu and click OK. And now let's delete all. And now let's go to the edit menu and choose paste in place command. Okay, so far so good. And now let's use the line command. Let's start from here and press up arrow key to log in the Z is it and click at the end of this ax. Okay. Now select this line segment and select this to curve. Now let's use the curvy log command. Okay, now let's change the segment to one and let's click on here to create only line geometry and confirm it. Now let's select this. Uh, we need to change its tag layer. Choose tag. And let's turn off this tag. Okay, now select this curve one more time. And use the curve lock command again. This time we are going to create the surface. And set the segment 1 and confirm it. And now let's use the push pull command. And let's push pull this up to uh, 2 inch. Okay, and choose the finishing... Uh, erase original face and border to none and confirm it and let's delete some of the line that we don't need and get into this groove and select the faces and now let's open the s 4 do component uh, we need to change all the faces into component so click on this tool face to component and hit the enter okay we need to delete the small uh, faces so delete it now get into this component and select it and choose reverse face okay now we need to offset this face you can offset any amount you want and now let's erase outside face and edges. And get into this component one more time. Uh, we need to move this edge. So select edge, move it in the wind direction about uh, 6 inch okay that's look good now we need to draw a short edge at the back side so let's use the line command and let's draw a line in the x direction about 2 inch you can draw any more you want okay one more line from this end point to this end point 
and let's erase this uh, H okay now we need to push pull this you can push pull this any amount you want you can adjust the distance okay that's look perfect now select this axe and uh, let's go to the entity info and change the segment to 30 you can put any amount you want now let's do the same to this axe let's change this to 50 okay now select all these edges i mean curve uh, okay let's use the profile builder command okay click on this first tool okay here you need to choose the regular cross section and set the width and height any more you want i'm going to put 4 inch and click on this pair long curve okay we got it now let's do the same to the edge which is at the back side now let's unhide the curve which we hide at the beginning of this video uh, which is this curve now get into this groove and select all these lines and use the profile builder one more time and set the width and height to 1.5 or 1 or 2 inch it's up to you now click on this belong curve okay that's look better Now let's apply some texture on it. Let's go to Find Menu and choose Import. And select Wood Texture and import it. And let's apply on this face. And click here and click here for the second point. Now let's take a sample from this Wood Texture. Uh, because we need to apply on the other faces. Okay, now let's look better. Now let's clear all these objects and let's create a component from this. Okay, now we need to create a path, I mean a axe from the top view. I have already done it, which is this axe. Now let's move this out of the way. Okay, now delete this line. Now we are going to use the array tool. So select all these components and put and click on this create array. You can set any number you want and create array. And click on this set up the pool. And now second click is on the beginning of this arc. Okay, we got it. Well, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel and see you in the next lesson.